out type. Her art, you gotta check it out, is really good, and I'll let her explain what she does. Hi, uh, I'm Wild Type. Um, I mostly paint and draw. Um, I work in a few different mediums, oil and gouache primarily, um, and then olive pencil. Okay, I'll get into the questions. What got you started with art? Um, it, honestly, it's, it's a compulsion. I've mm -hmm. been doing it since I was a kid. Um, it's something that I've always just kind of done, and I feel like, like I always feel compelled to do it. It's not like I set out to make a piece. It's like I feel wrong if I don't have like something in my hand, and I'm like. Do you say that. your art is structured, or is more you do what you feel? Um, I f probably more like I do what I feel, but like I try to like impose structure into it. Like I might have a uh, like picture that I find really inspiring. And mm -hmm. I think that's like the way that I do structures. Like I'll take a couple of things, like maybe like a beautiful picture of a sunset, or maybe I watched an interview with a politician that made me really pissed yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> I like think everybody's <laughs> artist. <I think. laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah. Um, I kind of draw from a little bit of that and then kind of just see what happens. Okay. So, has anyone inspired you to do art? Ah, uh, yeah, a lot of people. I would say, like, primarily Egon Chila. Um, he, that's his piece. Sorry, I forget to show the point off the camera. <laughs> but I'll show you later. Um, he does kind of, like, uh, like, he has really beautiful mastery of the line mm -hmm. and the way that he just, like, just with a pencil, he can make a figure look three-dimensional and you can feel the way the body, like, mm -hmm. twists and turns and I feel, like, very yeah. inspired by that. With me, I just, whatever I feel, I'll paint. <laughs> whatever, I don't have any structure to it, I just do it. <laughs> what are you painting? Uh, anything, like whatever comes, I'll show you a picture of one of my art pieces. Whatever comes to mind, if that's what I'm thinking that day, that's what I'm doing. If an uh, image pops, and it might not be like a normal image. Mm -hmm. If an image pops, that I'm going to draw it, I like it. <laughs> Fearless. Yeah. I love that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fearless. <laughs> What else got you going with art? Like, has it been in your childhood? What did you do? Um, I mean, like I said, I've always been drawing. I definitely, like, hit that anime phase in my, like, uh -huh. junior high, high school. And that <laughs> definitely, like, inspired a lot of, like, fan art and that sort of thing. But, um, I don't, I don't think I really got serious about it until about maybe five years ago. Mm -hmm. um, I took a painting class as an elective, and I'd never painted before. I mean, I, I had, but like, well, yeah. not really. I didn't really understand what I was doing. I'd mostly just drawn. But mm -hmm. the first painting class, um, I'd been in an art block for two years up until then. Uh -huh. I stopped making art, and then this painting class just kind of like pushed me into like being a serious artist and taking art seriously. And then it yeah. kind of it seems like a lot of artists find their way that way. Like they'll go to something else, but you get pulled back to what you're supposed to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you always, you find your way. <laughs> so what else um, has got you started? I know you said you always did art, mm -hmm. but is it a particular day that you decide, like, this is what I'm going to do, this is it? Um, I guess, like, maybe... It was like I'd been struggling, uh, like I'm a scientist, it's like mm -hmm. my day job, and yeah. for years I'd just kind of struggled between going back between like, oh, I'm going to focus on science or I'm going to focus on art. Because yeah. like, I understand that life's a game and it's important to focus on one thing because yeah. like that's the only way that you're going to get good on something is working really hard at it and like studying other people who are doing the same thing like other artists or like reading research or whatever like you have to put like your all in that yeah. and like after I took that painting class I, real I realized that like I can't sacrifice being an artist or a scientist yeah so it got me to this place where I separates Philly from other cities is like other cities have like their general population and then their art population mm -hmm. but I feel like in Philly like even like the hardcore sports fans who've like never set foot in the PMA like I feel like there's just a general appreciation for art in the city so mm -hmm. there's just like more of a place for artists in the city <laughs> I'm glad you said that and it was something else I wanted to get for me but I can't remember the question <laughs> um oh gosh what's um 
what's one thing or maybe a whole sentence that you can say about your art that sets you aside from everyone else? Like we would know it's your art. What's one thing? Uh, that's a really hard question. And you can speak about yourself. You can say like if you're fearless, if you, whatever you want to say about yourself, you can do that. Um, I feel like what distinguishes my art visually is kind of like raw figures in the foreground and kind of like abstract expressionist like shapes and colors in the background. But not to say like I'm the only one that's doing that, but I would say but that's, that's the main. I like it. <laughs> and that is it and I'm gonna go and we're gonna get pictures. Okay. <laughs>